Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Football Now for the latest round of Premier League fixture previews. We'll be running you through the betting odds and giving our own predictions uh, as well. As you can tell by the title of this video, we're focusing on Fulham taking on West Ham, 2 o'clock kickoff Sunday afternoon at Craven Cottage. Um, before we get into the game itself, Connor, do you want to talk us through those betting odds, first of all? 24 to 17. I've never seen that. Who's coming up with these odds? 24 to 17. I don't even know if that makes him favourite or not. Uh, no, it does make him favourite. Um, it, it's a it, tough one, actually, because Fulham last time out, they won 5 0 against Nottingham Forest. And I don't think any of us saw, um, saw that from Fulham. But I'm just looking at their recent games. The past three games, they've scored what was it? They've scored 11 goals in the past three games, you know. They've, I think they struggled in an area, obviously, lost losing Mitrovic to, to Saudi Arabia. Um, so that you they have struggled uh, in that department, I feel like. But yeah, you can't argue with that. 11 goals in the past three games. And wow. what West Ham again, it's a strange up and down season where they started off pretty poorly and then they, they found form and then they dropped off. But you know, they've, they've seemed to uh found the form again. They've uh won four, won the last four and drawn one in, in all competitions. You see, there in the Premier League, uh, not as great, but unbeaten in the last three games. So it's a difficult one to predict. You just sort of feel like with these two sides, excuse me, feel like these are on water, not really cork zero. <laughs> um, you sort you, you sort of feel like with these two sides, with everything that's going on at the bottom of the table, with the points deduction, three sides that have come up, Luton, Sheffield, managerial change, then at the top with a title challenge, Aston Villa sort of make, making waves at the top and stuff like that. Sort of that that middle bit of the table sort of seems to get forgotten about a little bit, um, but West Ham obviously they're they're in Europe. They seem to have clicked now in Europe, Europe Conference League champions, of course. Um, and that was yours. Um, and you know, I think for them they need to be looking at those sort of Europe Europe, Europe places, maybe even if it's the Conference League. But I think for Fulham. We seem to say it every week, um, sort of, that's where they're going to be. It did yeah. actually look like they were slipping down that table. I know we said it a few weeks ago that the form just had dropped off, but uh, three points against Forest, three points against a good good Wolves side as well, just seems to have, have got them back on track a little bit. So, yeah, um, tough game to predict. If you could just flash the odds back up again so I can uh, have a look at them. I know Fulham do go off favourites, but like I said, it is, it is, it's such a hard game to predict that I don't think this is one for the Acker. I think this is one just to give a miss. Yeah, you've mentioned Fulham with the 11 goals in the last three games. You saw the heavy uh, victory over Forest in midweek, but the way they pushed Liverpool at Anfield on Sunday, you know, for 10 minutes to go, they're free to up. It looks like they're going to read for a spanner in the works in the title race there. Unfortunately, they do concede two good goals. All of the goals they conceded, by the way, against Liverpool were incredible finishes. Um so they couldn't do much about them. Um, but yeah, there has been a real increase in positivity. I think um, uh, down at Craven Cottage, a good win away at home, sorry, against Wolves earlier um, in November. By the end of November, they got a bit fortunate with some of the decisions which went their way. Um, but then again, a massive win against Forest um, midweek. I'm just looking at the injuries. Uh, Diop, Rodrigo and Traore all ruled out for Fulham. And Mikel Antonio ruled out um, for West Ham. Uh, as well, like you said, it's a clash between those two sides that aren't going to be anywhere near a relegation battle, but won't be threatening. I don't think in those top six or seven places. I think West Ham, in particular, have their eye on, like you said, a, a possible spot in Europe um, for next season. But yeah, it, it's a bit, I think uh, the, the, both of them would uh, be happy with how, how things are going so far um, this season. I'm just looking at Fulham's upcoming fixtures after this and distracted because the siren seems to be going past my flat every five seconds. Kitchen's on fire. Probably would surprise me. Keep it warm at least. But um, yeah, before that, after this, they head to Newcastle and they got Everton in the cup away, uh, Burnley at home, Bournemouth away. Then they uh, host Arsenal. So up until that Arsenal game on New Year's Eve, they got some uh, winnable fixtures there for Fulham. Expect them to really uh, solid solidify their place uh, in around mid table. Looking at West Ham too and their fixtures coming up. Well, they played Tottenham away tonight before. This game. Oh, yeah. And then, then they play, um, they head to Fulham on Sunday. They've got a game in the Europa League 
Then they host Wolves, uh, go to Liverpool in the Cup. Then they host uh, Manchester United, then head to Arsenal, then host Brighton. So there's a few difficult uh, fixtures coming up um, for West Ham. I think they're just quietly going about their business, aren't they? West Ham really not pulling up loads of many trees, but... At the same time, their fans will be happy with that as long as, as alongside sorry, their campaign in Europe. Having said all of that, Connor, we'll, we'll move on to the prediction segment of the video. What are you backing um, for this for this game? Or am I going? Yeah, first? well, as as I've been saying, you know, if 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 you uh, if you can't split between the two, then you go down the middle for a draw. I think maybe I'd have favoured West Ham a little bit if if it was at the, the London Stadium, but. Back to back away games for West Ham. I know they've not got far to travel, but you know, you still you, you still got to travel. It's a different ground, different atmosphere, shit changing rooms. You know, <laughs> no one there is good out with out of the away changing rooms. So, yeah, I I'm gonna go with the draw. I'm gonna go for goals as well because Fulham seems to have been scoring a lot lately. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go with two two, Desmond. Yeah, I'm going to go for a 2-1 West Ham win. I wouldn't be surprised with any result, like you said. I just back West Ham to have a bit more um, than Fulham ultimately on Sunday. But yeah, it's one of those games. I think, like I said, they're both around that mid-table. As mid-table places, I wouldn't be surprised either way. Uh, that concludes our preview for Fulham versus West Ham on Sunday afternoon. You can check out uh, all the other videos we'll be doing on the channel for the games this weekend over at Football Now. Let us know your thoughts in each of the comment sections as well. And check out our affiliated channels, which I'll put a link to. Uh, in the description. Having said all of that, thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.